To help visualize the serratus anterior and subscapularis muscles, it helps to look at a skeleton. Placed upon this skeleton are two pieces of paper that represent these muscles. This piece here represents the serratus anterior coming from the medial border of the scapula to the upper nine ribs anterolaterally. This piece here represents the subscapularis coming from the anterior surface of the scapula and going to the humerus. Even though both muscles are located between the rib cage and the anterior surface of the scapula, as we can see when the arm is away from the body, the serratus anterior hugs the rib cage wall, whereas the subscapularis stays over toward the humerus. Here, the finger pads are oriented toward the rib cage wall to palpate the serratus anterior. Subscapularis, serratus anterior, subscapularis, serratus anterior. To palpate the subscapularis, we place the client's arm on her trunk and then have her gently hold her elbow with her opposite side hand. We then reach under her body with our non-palpating hand, find the medial border of her scapula, and firmly, passively pull the scapula laterally away from her body wall. This exposes the anterior surface of her scapula for our palpation. We then place the fingers of our palpating hand against the anterior scapula. To engage the subscapularis so that we can feel its contraction, we ask the client to immediately rotate her arm at the shoulder joint. We can even see her elbow lift when she does this. We then feel for the contraction against the anterior surface of the scapula, and we explore and palpate as much of the subscapularis as possible. To follow the subscapularis to its distal tendon on the lesser tubercle of the humerus, we bring the client's arm up and rest it on our shoulder, our left shoulder here for palpation of the right subscapularis. We then passively protract her scapula as before, and then place our palpating fingers on the anterior surface of the scapula. We ask the client to immediately rotate her arm at the shoulder joint to engage the subscapularis and we feel its contraction. We follow the subscapularis distally in baby steps toward its humeral attachment, strumming perpendicularly across it as the client alternately contracts and relaxes the muscle. When we get to the actual humeral attachment here, we make sure that the client's subscapularis is relaxed so that we can feel the difference between the soft and relaxed tendon and the hard texture of the lesser tubercle of the humerus.